Hello everyone. This is a set of three pliers from Stanley featuring their Dynagrip cushion handles that I bought from a local hardware during their promotional sale. What I'm going to do today is remove them from their packaging and do a bit of testing. This is the 7 inch diagonal cutter, the 6 inch long nosed plier and the 7 inch standard pliers. I will now test the insulation of the handles of my pliers against a test voltage of 1000 volts DC. Now before I do that, let me just say that this is not an endorsement of the insulation capability of the pliers. They are not rated as insulated. They have no rating at all of, uh, of that nature. And they are not designed for working on or near live conductors. But I just want to know how much of an insulation resistance the handle cushions present in case I accidentally come in contact with a live conductor unintentionally. For that purpose, I filled this bottle with salty water. These two conductors here will be the connection point of one terminal of my Hyoki IR4057 insulation and continuity tester set at 1000 volts DC test voltage. To check first whether the saline solution has good conductivity, the reading should be zero when I connect the two test leads of my IR4057. The reading should be zero. So that's zero mega ohms. And for this test, I set the limit of acceptable insulation resistance at 500 mega ohms. Testing first the insulation of the handle, cushion handle of the lineman's pliers. That is above 4000 mega ohms and way. Uh, beyond or above the 500 mega ohm limit. If I allow the metallic part of the lineman's pliers to touch the edge of the bottle, the insulation resistance lowers a bit, but still above the 5000 mega ohms. And this is normal because the metallic part now is touching the edge of the bottle, which is in direct contact with the water. But if I just let the uh, lineman's plier kind of float in the water without touching anything, the insulation resistance is really above 4000 mega ohms, so this is good. Next, let's test the diagonal cutter. Also above 4000 mega ohms. Also good. Letting the metallic part touch the edge of the bottle. So it also lowers a bit. 
but if it's just the uh, insulation or if it's just the covering of the handles touching the water it's above 4000 mega ohms so this is good and lastly testing the handle cushions of the long nosed pliers that's also about 4000 mega ohms again the metallic part touching the edge of the bottle lowers the insulation a bit but if it's just the uh, handle cushions it's really above 4000 mega ohms so far cutting number 12 AWG conductors is not a problem very easy however this number 10 AWG copper conductor requires a bit more effort but still makes a good clean cut when it comes to the non-metallic uh, two conductor cable this one requires much more effort perhaps because these are not high leverage designs so you can cut them but it requires uh, much more force I like the long nosed pliers because it's really flushed and the jaws are flushed, flat and they are easy to pick small objects with it now my tests here were very limited but based on first impressions alone here are the things that I like about these Stanley pliers they are easy to open and close with one hand right out of their packaging there is no need to break them in. The knives are flush and there are no gaps. The handles of all of these pliers are very comfortable. I think that's because of the knob here that provides anchor to your finger, to your thumb. They uh, are excellent to hold and uh, they are comfortable. I think the only thing missing in their design is the high leverage design. And we know that uh, they are not high leverage because the pivot is located here at the center. Here is an example of a pliers with high leverage design. The pivot is much more offset from the center. It's closer to the cutting edge, so it takes less effort to cut the same size of conductor using the high leverage design as, comp as compared to the uh, standard uh, leverage design. Carbon steel, the material of which the spies are made of, is tough and they make uh, sharp knives here but be aware that they are easily prone to rust so be sure to wipe off moisture after use and to oil them to prevent rust from developing. The handle cushions of the, of the pliers have good insulating properties but be aware that they are not designed for use on live or energized conductors but only for ease of use. Uh, when you are handling them. Here is an example of a pair of pliers that's officially rated as insulated to 1000 volt. You can immediately see from the design of the uh, handles alone and also from the labeling 1000 volts insulated. So this is the one that's uh, safe to use uh, near energized conductors or energized sources. Incidentally it's also made of carbon steel and it already developed rust because I forgot sometimes to wipe them off uh, when they were wet so they developed already uh, rust there. Overall I think that Stanley deserves credit for producing good and also affordable uh, pliers for the tradesmen which are also readily available. If you have comments or suggestions kindly write them down below. Thank you for watching. Stay safe.